I'm on a journey to get better at 3D modeling. And right now, my obsession is with turning normal, everyday objects into containers or storage boxes. I've done penguins, ladybugs, multiple cameras, and in today's video, we're doing this cute cactus container. Recently, I've been using ChatGPT and Midjourney to help me come up with reference images for my 3D models. Right now, I'm into this cute kawaii character type design, so I asked ChatGPT for some ideas in that style, and after a bit of prompting and re-prompting, it came up with this. And I loved it! I knew that was the design I wanted to go with. And so now that we have some cool concept art, let's head over to Onshape and take a look at the initial design process. So 44 millimeters tall. That's so small. I'm thinking more 80. That's kind of tall, 60. And we're just gonna kind of sketch out this edge here so we can revolve this. Now we want it to be flat on the bottom. So we'll start with a line 25 and then close it off. And then this will be like the full diameter, I guess, or radius of our pot. So if I want it to be about 120, seems like a decent size. So this would need to be 60. Wow. Okay, and then I gotta change all my curves. Mm, and I can make this part. Okay, we'll see what that looks like. So now we will revolve this sketch around this axis and we have our pot. And now we can go back to our sketch and we can refine what we like and what we don't like. Okay, that's looking better. I like the shape of that a lot more. Once I had a shape I liked for the pot, I needed to shell out the inside but I needed to keep in mind that there needed to be an edge on the inside so the dirt and cactus could sit in there, which would create the container part of this design. Okay, that worked. Okay, and then now can I shell this to be four? No, five. Yes! Long time coming just to get <laughs> this stinking bowl. But now we know how to do it. That was cool. A couple revolves later, and here we are. All that was left now was to close it off and make the dirt. This would serve as the lid to our container and the base for our cactus to stand on. Beautiful. All right, lots of revolves with this one so far, but we're getting somewhere. We've got our pot, we've got our dirt. Now all we need is a cactus. So we'll bring the sketch back and see how we're doing. So far, super cute. Next, I'm gonna start working on the cactus body. Should be an interesting task, and it may not turn out looking exactly like this cactus, but it will look like a cactus, hopefully. Let's hide that sketch again. Top view, we're gonna make a sketch right here on our dirt patch. Let's start with a center point circle. Now it was time for the cactus body. I started with a circle and a path, and now I'll just shape this to look cactusy. That way I could use the sweep feature and the circular pattern feature to create the main shape for the cactus body. It created some weird geometry on the inside, so once again I added a quick sketch and used the revolve feature to remove most of the unwanted weirdness. I wanted it to be semi-hollow to reduce material and print time, and I think I accomplished this decently well. Okay, perfect. It just took a couple <laughs> tries. But we did it! Oh, I'm already so excited. Um, I wanna add some colors. Yeah! Ah, we're getting there! We've got the beginning of our cactus. Okay, let me turn on my sketch and see what's next. All right, mine's quite a bit taller. Um, I think the arms 
should be what I tackle next because I can mirror across. Next, I got to work on the arms. I started with a circular pattern for my initial sketch, and then I used the loft feature to create the arm shape. This part gave me a bit of trouble, but eventually I got it to work the way I wanted, and I was happy with the way the arms turned out. All right, it looks cuter now that I've changed the color. Let me mirror it and see. I'll still have to figure out how that's gonna print, but it's at least starting to look like a cactus. All right, now I need to do the little space buns up here. The space buns were way easier than the arms, especially now that I've done this process twice already. I started with a sketch and a sweep, circular patterned it, and adjusted the curve until I liked what I saw. <laughs> It doesn't quite look exactly the same. That'll do. It's cute enough. Now we can start working on the face. The face was the trickiest part of the whole design. I wanted it to print in parts, so I had to make sure the face features could be cut out and printed separately. I also wanted the eyes and mouth to wrap around the body instead of just sticking out straight. To solve the problem, I created a surface and split the parts, leaving behind the perfectly curved eyes and mouth that I was after. I followed the same process for the cheeks, and then I was ready for the initial test prints. <laughs> that made it so much cuter. I'm ready to start printing. I really wanna see what this is gonna look like. Let me fix a couple more things. I wish I would've stopped here because this is actually what became the final product. But instead, I spent another hour cutting it in half and creating pegs, which you'll see in the build how that turned out. Oh, I have no idea. I'm so nervous. Time to test it out and see what it's gonna look like. I've been waiting all weekend, but it is finally time to put together our first round of test prints and see what we have created. We have some supports that need to be removed. We've got some parts that need to be glued together. Lots to do, but hopefully we'll see something come together and get a good idea for this first round of prints and figure out any changes that need to be made. All right, so this is print or version number one, attempt number one. And I think it came out pretty nice. I need to glue it together still and insert all of the pegs, but I've got one peg inserted here and it went in pretty smooth. And then the only issue would be the inside may need supports, but since this is gonna be glued together anyways, you won't ever see the inside. So I'm not super worried about it. The only thing I reprinted for, you can see the layer lines pretty prominent here on this version. I would be totally happy with this. I think it's adorable on its own, but I did reprint it another time just to try and get a slightly smoother surface. And I think I printed it at 0.16 with adaptive layers, and this was the result that I was able to get, which I think is a major improvement. You still see a few layer lines on it, but I'm overall pretty happy with this. It did take eight and a half hours to print this one compared to five and a half for this one, but I printed it overnight, so it really wasn't a big deal and I had the time. So we'll see if I end up sticking with this version, but I also printed this version where I need to still remove these supports. And I like this color way better. This is the Overture Matte and this is Polymaker muted green. I really just wanted to print them at the same time and these were the only two kind of cactus greens I had. But this one I printed as all one body and I just added some supports for these sections here, which was the only reason I chopped the other one in half anyways. This can still be printed with a single color printer because this is a layer change only once. And you could also print it separately and glue it on like we'll do with the others as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and get these supports off here and see what this looks like. Nice, okay. All right, so the supports came off super easy. Looks pretty clean. I'm pretty happy with that. And it didn't really add that much more time by using the supports. So if I had to choose between the two versions, like split in half versus pre-formed, 
I'm gonna go with this one, I think. But before we make our final decision, let's just at least see what the half version looks like and whether or not we like this concept of the pegs. Oh yeah, that just like slid in there, no problem. Okay, I'm not gluing these pegs in, but you could if you wanted it to be more secure. So I got all those pegs in. And now I am gonna put a dab of glue on these. So there is the final result for the cut in half version. And you can very clearly still see the seam. So I'm glad that this full version ended up working out nicely. This would still be a viable option, but definitely not perfect 100%. But we'll continue putting them both together and see what they end up being. Next we have the eyes and the mouth, which I did put a brim on these and we have the pink pieces. And I probably will reprint these pink pieces with a much lower layer height. This was at point two, and you can very clearly see all the layer lines. I didn't glue those yet, but they probably would need glue. And then the eyes slide in fine as well, but glue of course would make it hold quite a bit better. And the mouth is taking some convincing. Got it. And it doesn't need glue either. I'm gonna go no glue for now, just to make things a little cleaner. But I do probably need to clean up, just add a little bit extra clearance here. But overall, this is awesome. And this one already printed with the bottom. Here are the bowl variations. This one is the first one. And it has this weird, lip at the bottom, which is where it changes on the inside from having, from being like shelled out to having the base. That's exactly where this line is. And so it also has a line here that is where this inner lip is. So on this one, I rounded out the base and it helped a little on the bottom. And I just went ahead and added some kind of little band here, like an ornamental design, just to take away from the plainness. But I don't know if that helped or hurt. Now we'll put together this one just so that we can compare them both. The fit is not as good on these that didn't have the supports. Do I have the same mouth issue? No, no mouse mouth issue either. So this one would need glue, but that's okay, I can glue it. All right. Oh yeah, the bottom. All right. This is the one that was split in half. Done as well. All right, so we put together both of the initial test prints. And I have to say, I think they are incredibly adorable. And I'm very proud that I was able to get this far so far with this design. I think it looks exactly like I wanted it to. I think it's adorable. I'm very happy with it. Before I wrap this up and say this is my final print and show you guys the actual final result, there are some tweaks that I want to make to both of these. I like this version, the one where it just prints as one solid combined with this dirt piece. So I'm going to reprint in this color this option. I'm going to maybe tweak the tolerance where the mouth was since I'm using the supports and there was a bit of effort required to get the mouth in place just right. And I think I'm going to lower the layer height for the cheeks. But besides that, I love this little guy and I'm very excited to see the final result and get the files up so you guys can print them too. Okay, and I lowered the layer height of the cheeks down to 0.12. And I think it helped a ton. You can barely see the layer lines on these things. And these fit in perfectly because of the way the supports worked. I don't even need glue on the cheeks, which is awesome. And let's see how the mouth fits this time. Way better. All right, I resized the mouth slightly. On this version, I used a 0.1 clearance, I increased the clearance to 0.2. And 
it fit a lot better, but I still need glue. So I'm gonna get these glued in really fast and then this guy will be finished. Just a smidge of 3D glue. And we have our cute little cactus. And then the bowl that it goes in. I tried again to really get rid of this bottom ledge. I rounded out the bottom a ton to try and not let it change layer times. I just, that's as good as I could get it. And when it's sitting flat on a table, you really can't tell. So I'm gonna let it be and go with it like that. And so that is my little cactus design. It is a functioning container, which was the plan. I really wanted this to be sort of a functional. I don't want it to just be a statue, I guess. But this turned out exactly like I hoped it would. And I'm very pleased with this. It's my first little character design. This was definitely the most involved design that I've done so far. I mean, you guys saw a couple videos ago, I made the box camera. It's like, these were all basic shapes. This one had circles and rectangles and squares and I just rounded some corners and cut them out. And it was very, very simple. This one had so much more to it. If you want the files for this little cactus guy, it will be free on things for the first 24 hours. And of course, if you're part of the Patreon, you get them anyway. So go grab them, download them. Let me know what you guys think. I'm pretty pleased with it. It's definitely the coolest thing that I've ever designed. And I'm really excited to see where my design skills take me in the future. I'm definitely not done here.